Okay, uh, we're going. I would, I would hope so anyway, right? You would or didn't. <laughs> All right, I got 6.30 on my computer. Let's roll. And my cell phone, so I just confirmed that. I'd like to call this meeting um, of the uh, Ledger uh, Community Relations Committee uh, to order at 6.30 uh, p.m. Uh, roll call. Um, Councilor uh, John Marshall's here. Um, Councilor Bill Psalms is excused tonight. And then we have um, Councilor Mary McGratton and Police Chief uh, uh, Rich is with us tonight. Um, citizen comments, none. Informational uh, items, um, I don't have any informational items. So we're gonna move right on to review and approval of minutes, regular meeting minutes of May 18th of 2022. So moved. All right, and I'll second that. And um, any uh, discussion or corrections or anything? None. And see any, all in favor, aye. aye. Motion carries. Uh, going on to old business, uh, continued discussion regarding Black History Month and update on the 2022 Black History Activity Contest. Um, we're not gonna do much tonight with that. I would like to, however, um, and I have talked a little bit with um, um, Councilor Rodriguez about um, starting to put that together maybe next month um, and tr start building some ideas um, early. In, instead of uh, pigeonhole this into one month, is there something we could do throughout the year? Sure, I mean, we you can know, have a discussion. Not, you know, does it, have, does it have to be once a year? Like, why not have some Well, I think the idea, why I wanted to start it early, you know, and what I was saying before was that we could, we could, you know, we build up to that month. And, and that's the month where, you know, that they I celebrate is February. Awareness things or whatever. And that we would build, make a build up to that um, February deadline instead of starting it, you know, in mid February and ending right. it when we did. Um, but I know that um, um, Council Rodriguez was really instrumental in that. And I'd, I'd like to, uh, to get her input and, and of course, um, Council Psalm's input as we move forward on that. And I was hoping that maybe we can start bringing some ideas next month on that, and maybe doing a little work on, on starting to roll that around. Um, there's nothing else on that. Um, I'd like to move on to item number two on the agenda. Continued discussion and possible action to develop a community relations commission mission statement. I think what it says is just fine. Anything you do is just rearranging the words, but it's going to say the same. It's going to do the same message. Well, um, you know me <laughs> by now, yes. right? I've been, um, you know, I, I, I take that very seriously, and I, I have been working on something I like to present next month. Okay. Um, for the record, and to your point. I've read both the old mission statement and I read what is kind of what we kind of worked on and, and, you know, what we started with, with, with council Psalms and, and, um, you know, and I, and, and, and I just, I guess I just repeat what I said before is, is, you know, how's my feet have been getting wet just all, all together in this, um, I think we're really starting to define what this community relations committee is and what it's going to be. And I think that was my biggest thing. And I know we talked about it last month is, is kind of, because it's, it's, it's more than what it was. I think it's kind of shifted a little bit. And I think we're still shifting it based on some of the events that we've had and what we've done and starting to focus on some, on some different things as well. So um, I'll bring what I have, or I, Roxanne, can I, I can send my my statements, right? So that we can talk yeah, about it the next month? Sure, if you email them to me, then I will upload them and everyone can see them on the next agenda. Yeah, we can read them so, digest. Right, and, that way, instead of reading them here for the first time, people could read that and then kind of bring, you know, right. you know Gary, this was awful, Gary, this is good, or here's my take right. and here's what, what I'm what what you and, thinking. You know, the, right. Which is really the objective of the meeting portal is so that we can put the stuff out there and people can read it in advance and be prepared for the meeting. But just to give you guys all a heads up, um, we will be starting with the new meeting portal on July 1. So everything on iCompass, I'm not sure if anything is coming over or how much will come over. 
So the iCompass portal will be going away. Right. And we'll be starting with the Granicus. So if there's anything on, on, on iCompass that you want to kind of keep to refer back to, I suggest you go in and, and save it. Um, That's okay. okay. Yep. So I got, so we got we a start, month for that, right? Well, you only have a couple weeks now because it's going to yeah, be yeah, June yeah, 30th. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We started yeah. training with right. staff today and, um, you know, yeah, we're, we will be rolling out on July 1. So. Just got this one figured out. Okay. It'll look a little bit different. Of course, we'll walk you all through the process and hopefully it'll be a smooth transition. All right. Well, I've done it at work a few times going through different you know, stuff with the truck. So. Also, just, just so you know, I know, Gary, you've been going through and watching some of the videos from the previous yeah. committee. I do have all of those on a disc as well. So, um, you know, if you. Well, oh, OK. So if I wanted to refer back, I could just I could. Okay. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you could just come see me. OK, uh, so there's no other discussion on that. That's what I'll do. I'll give everyone a chance to kind of take a look at kind of the kind of what. Yeah, what I've been kind of working on and then we can, you know, kind of you know if anybody else wants to submit anything or, or talk about it at the next meeting i think that would be you know pretty cool to do um uh to do that I, I just you know you know especially you know and i'll say that for the record too i mean just just you know i i you know this has been a um uh, you know it's you know my my first round here as a councilman so it's kind of you know um, so awesome. I really want to put in and, and I really want to, you know, do my due diligence on that, you know, for, for the community. So, um, so if there's nothing else there. We're going to move on now to item number three, which is our continued discussion, <clears throat> possible action draft, a schedule for public in, uh, information forums to present to residents, the types of services the town offers, how to access services and the author authority residents should direct cons uh, concerns regarding services. So, this, I just kind of want to take this tonight to talk about um, the end of June, which was 629. It's the farmer's market um, on Wednesday, the 29th. Um, so I, I think what we left it last month and then talking to, um, I know that a few counselors have reached out that are going to be there. Um, I did not hear um, whether or not the mayor was going to be there. Um, I know Councilor Sam said that he would be there. I know that, uh, yeah, you said you'd be there and, and Councilor Rodriguez would be there. So there'd be a, there'd be a few of us there. Um, and you know, the idea behind this was to kind of, and, and, and Councilor Sam's kind of stated in our last meeting that this would be um, very informal. And, and the idea was to, to, and I had talked to Chief Rich on, um, the idea was to kind of have something a little bit informal. We haven't set anything in stone. The idea behind that was maybe to have somebody from um, um, the, the police department come up and and kind of have like a you know an, a, you know hey these are our you know if you want to come check out our you know which we could we would have to advertise that. So I guess my question tonight is is how do we want to go about that? So Council Psalms is is on the you know right we have a table. We have a kind of our own little space, right? Yeah. Where we can do, um, that's what the farmer's market's giving us. So we could have our banner and and we could, you know, there's, there's no there's politics, but we're talking about, table? well, I would bring a table. I got a, we can grab out of here. you know, tent table and everything else. So, you know, and then we have talked about having the police come, whether up on the upper green or, or you know, which would probably have to make sense or where, where would we, do that and how do we how would we want to direct that and the idea behind that was was instead of you know you know i mean you know the the chief and and, and ledger police has been i mean i've learned in this past what six months just how generous the police department and many other uh, of our um, emergency services have been in in wanting to do these events with not just us but with everybody so i don't want to waste their time either i know that they they work very hard chief I, I i can't thank you enough for your your um you know just just being there for this town um so i kind of want to come together tonight to figure out how we're going to do this this if, if the market's down below now 
And that's what we should be with, with them. Be well, we would, we would have a table. Right, down below. Down below, in, in we'd be mingling and we'd be talking just about different things. Yeah. How can, what's, if Chief, if you are going to be able to, to, to bring an officer down and maybe, you know, to showcase maybe some of your, your, your new body cameras or, or, or to talk with us or, or whatever, what would your opinion be just based on what I just said? So, yeah, so I think uh, if we are, so we, we also have like a, a table, like with a this logo display cloth uh, that drapes over the front that we could use um, just for to, maybe to just attract the attention of people who are you know, not, not aware of that, that we're going to be there. And um, we have very recently done uh, a few different events that are, you know, maybe we could kind of meld them all into a little bit into one. Um, the limitation I think at the market would be that we wouldn't be able to like say, I, I don't think we'd be able to um, like put together a, a slide deck or a PowerPoint presentation for um, to show to show the video from the camera, if you will. Um, but you can certainly see um, the view of the of the in car camera from the car. Um, so, you know, people can get real live and hands on and, and seeing like uh, what the officer sees in, in the monitor and what what, what the video would look like um, from the car. That's, that's an easy one. Um, then we could explain uh, a little bit more about our, um, our program, which we did this, this past week at, uh, at the Rotary meeting. Uh, and it was very, very well received. And there was a lot of, uh, a lot of interest, and a lot of questions, which I thought was great. Um, so there is, a, there is definitely a lot of interest in the community. And I think, you know, kind of mixing into the conversation of um, the fact that the, cameras are required under the, the law and the police accountability bill. And it was something that we had already um, contemplated and uh, discussed for go, going all the way back to 2017 and imp implemented cameras in the cars in 2018. So it's something that we, we support. And, and in addition, if there are, you know, if there are residents that are concerned about the fact that they are an accountability tool, then that's, that's a good conversation for sure. And if there's some that are just interested in, uh, you know, what, what the video actually looks like or, um, you know, how the officer wear, wears it, uh, how the officer activates it, um, uh, it, it automatic activation when the, the lights are on and the cruiser go on, if it's synced with the cruiser, which they which they all normally are. So there's a, there's a lot of uh, technology points that we could we could talk about a little bit too in a, a little bit of an expo. And then we also have, you know, just kids. Uh, just this past weekend, uh, we had an officer at um, the Regatta Day Festival and just the interaction with the kids, and you know, they sometimes they like to put on a, a hat or put on the vest or that I kind saw of thing. That. You guys did a great job. Yeah, thank, thank you. So, you know, if it could be something similar to that, where it's good for families, you know, if 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 parents have an interest in uh, the well, the tech or the technology or the equipment, uh, and the kids kind of have an interest in, you know, hey, like, um, you know, let me let me uh, uh, pretend pretend I'm a police officer for the, the next two minutes or whatever, right. and where this, you know, so. And those are those are all, all, always great. And if that's in line with the vision of the committee, um, to be able to um, you know, to have that type of a uh, interaction, um, I'm I'm all for it. And I, I know what we get support from uh, from my team, and there'd be, there'd be people that want to do it for sure. So so would you be able to? So you could bring a you could have somebody there for the 29th at the farmers market. Yes, we'll, we'll have we'll have people there. We'll have uh, you know definitely have a vehicle. We can have some. In informational items uh, with our with our table um, have some little sometimes little pro promo things with uh, for kids with the uh, the let you please uh, my idea we team. could direct you know that could be one of the things as we're mingling in at our table so it's a dual it's almost like a dual thing it you want be, it should be together right where we would yeah. be you know you want to talk to a you know you know counselor and and kind of like our meet and greet right that, that we have for the counselors and then you know we say you you know we, you know, and even have, we could have a sign, we could have uh, uh, anything like that. Yeah. Just kind of pointing out, you know, we're joined, you know what I mean? With, you know, the Ledger Police Department and they're, you know, if you want to go and check out the new cameras and and and, and do something like that, go right Gary, ahead. Might, I see you. Gary, right ahead. If, um, if, if the police department can spare more than one person, maybe you might want to have an officer join you at your table. That's and what I was wondering up to the other table on the upper green, that might be helpful. 
Uh, Mary had well, wanted to say something. Okay, so okay. I, I think maybe what you could do is that the farmer's market is from four until seven. Pick a time, I'll say 5.30, and have somebody announce that at the table, the police will do a demonstration of the body cameras. Then everybody will come towards the table and you know the officer will uh, show them uh, how it works. So it'll just be done once and everybody uh, you know, will be there. Yeah, then we could do something like that by 30 or six o'clock, but in Whatever, the meantime- Whatever, you know, pick a time so that everybody will show up at the site and then they could do the demonstration. But because then combine that with what? And nobody knows it'll they'll be interrupted. This way, they do it, people show up. And then by by if you mix it like that too, and, and again, I you know, there's a two-part question, you know, like Roxanne brought up chief, two officers at least, or you know, at, to Mary's point, you know, you could you could have a you know an officer kind of hanging out with with you know the council per se, has a community relations you know, to be able to talk about just, you know, stuff and then say at six o'clock, we're going to do a, a, or, you know, five thirty, six o'clock or whatever, you know, we're going to have a demonstration over here at the car. If you want to come over for anyone that wants to see how these, you know, how it works. What, what's your thought on that chief? I think that's, I think that's great. And I, I, um, you know, I just would also, since Mary's in the meeting here, just kind of harken back to something we did uh, pre pandemic that, um, Mary had put together like a know your a know your town series, and we mm -hmm. had um, had officers uh, at, in the in the police department, and we had people come through in the classroom, and it, it was a little bit of interest, I think, in in the, even in the various uh, uniforms that we wear uh, for different different events, and uh, I know I know we had uh, um, I'm sorry, so interruption here in the house. Um, we, we had, uh, you know, an officer in the, in the class A uniform that they wear for the honor guard. We had, um, we, we certainly have a special response team uniform and uh, the regular uniform of the day where an officer wears the, uh, the carrier with the exter external, external vest and their equipment that they put on the molly. And I, I think, you know, explaining that to, to um, the citizens, I think is always, it's always helpful as well as like, you know, why, the, why does the officer wear, wear the, the body armor vest, the, on the exterior, external carrier and, you know how it's about officer safety and dis distribution of weight and uh, taking pressure off your back and all those kind of things. So I, you know, there's some interest in that for for people. I think, and I, I'd be happy to, you know, have have that as an aspect of it as well. Yeah, I agree. John, quick question for you: Would, would it be worth putting together uh, something for proper etiquette as to what to do when when you're pulled over by an officer? Because sometimes yeah, things, I, things go south because no one knows someone's doing something wrong and someone gets nervous and things go wrong. I, I was going to speak to that a little bit later. Uh, John, I think that's a great, you know, that's a great discussion for sure. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's um, for, for this day, but it's, it's definitely a great, it's definitely a great discussion. It's a, that's an important one um, for safety for everyone. Um, so everyone stays on the same page. And, and I know I've been working with Naomi on something uh, similar uh, as it relates to people with some special needs. So I'm sure she'll talk about that. Uh, I'm just going to throw this out there. If, if, the, if the, an officer or officers are going to be there for, for a while on that day, you could do a combination. Hey, from 530, the police are going to be doing a, a, a you know, that, an etiquette. And then at six o'clock, we'll be going through the body cameras. I mean, you could do something like that too. I don't know if that's too much for one day. I'm just thinking yeah, out just, loud. Yeah, just just to your just point. Throw, just throwing that out there. You know, you could you could kind of, you know, it, I mean, nothing for nothing. That could be, I mean, that could be a, a pretty neat talking point, but I, I don't know if it's for that day or not. I mean, I, I would defer to you, Chief, on that. I mean, you know, body, you know, obviously the cameras are new and it'd be nice to showcase, you know, you know, something that, you know, that, maybe people don't know about, especially in this you know, climate. Um, but again, I, I'll defer to you on, on that, Chief. We'll, we'll get something again that's um, you know mean, meaningful, I think, and interesting for the community and also fam family friendly. And we, we can always, like we do it 
almost every appearance. We, we can have, we can have side conversations with people. Who are right, right. Questions. Well, that was the, the reason why, like, you know, so if the body cameras are kind of a specialty at six, mm -hmm. in the meantime, it would be kind of the council and the police intermingling, which I think is is a good thing. It's it's yeah. it just shows mm -hmm. community, and that's kind so of what unity, this unity. is supposed to be: is community and unity. Yeah. Absolutely, no division. So so you're good for 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 June um, 29th. Yes. Yes. I mean, I have a table. I have a couple tables I can bring. Um, yeah, pop up. And I, yeah, I got my, uh, I hope you guys are all Patriots fans. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I could speak to that. I am. So. Yeah, see, we got a great chief here. Hey, chief, can we have a, chief, can we have a taser demonstration? That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> you talk to some of the officers about about training in myself the worst, worst five seconds of my life i can tell you that so <laughs> okay so i think what we need to do is we need to actually uh, talk about the, the venue so it look i just because i need to let the farmer's market know so, right, so um we're gonna have we're gonna have a council booth tables, correct whatever you hear pop yep. up in the farmer's market you're going to have at least one police officer with you at that location. And then the police with the body cams or whatever they're going to have, they're going to be located up on the upper green. Is that correct? Because when I talked to Lori Harry, the chairman of the farmer's market, she said down at the lower green and in that area where the pocket park is supposed to be is where the food, the food vendor truck park. So she said that's probably not a good spot for the police department just so you know that's what she told me yeah so i think logistically we just got to figure out because I, I think we are going to want to use a police vehicle in the, in the demonstration because oh, the, the camera right. the cameras yeah so we're going to want to have space for us to actually have a police vehicle and actually do it is there room on the other side of the of the barn I um, think, I mean, where the food pantry is the corner of the parking lot close to the barn as you're facing this way on the left hand side where the popcorn was for the trunk of tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah. that corner and we'll grab that corner because if we go up on top, now we're separated from the rest of the crowd. We right, have, right. I mean, that's why I was asking if we can find a logistic place for 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 uh for the police car. I think on the left hand side on the, in the parking lot, be fine. You want? Can you run that by uh, Roxanne or? Okay, so where where do you guys want to be by the barn? By the barn in the lower left hand side of the parking lot. Right, because I, I know what she's saying with the food trucks. Over by yeah, the food but, pantry side. Yeah. yeah, the food pantry side. Yeah. Well, we'll grab a corner over there. We should we shouldn't be up above, you know, separated from the rest of the crowd. Okay, I will talk to her about that. I'll try and reach her tomorrow. You know, and then we could, and like I said, what do you, it's, so if you were going to do the presentation, you know, so if everything else is just more community intermingling, what time would you put that body cam? <clears throat> would it be like a 5.30 or 6? What what would be the best time to do that? How, about how long of a presentation would that be, Chief? Like 20 minutes, half an hour? I think, I think max of 20 minutes, I think, you know, and then, and then take questions. So, but I think, right. I think tw 20 minutes um, and even, you know, using the, the lights of the vehicle, may attract, you know, people over if, you know. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I think, yeah. No, and, you know, while we're there, you know, at the start, we're telling people, hey, don't forget, six yeah. o'clock, we're going to be the, you know, we got a car over, you know what I mean? And you're telling people, you know, they're shopping, they're waiting for the, you know, the demonstration. Um, so what time is, would that be? I don't know how happy all the vendors are going to be if all of a sudden everybody evacuate the pole barn <laughs> and goes over to the to the cruiser so um i i'm just throwing that out there i don't know if the farm no, we'll be fine gonna we're be gonna be at the pole barn they'll be fine okay. i also think that's why like a six o'clock um time is a little bit better too it usually starts to after their shopping is done yeah 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 agree you know i went you know the conservation commission a couple of years two years ago right last summer, no last summer we we had a booth there, you know, and you know, like I know this is this is you know, but you know, I've seen animals over there. I've seen other events, kind of on that same side where people kind of flock over, you know, for a little bit. And there's a little bit of a crowd over there, and and then people are done. I mean, and that's what I'm saying. If this is something that's kind of 
I mean, realistically, not everybody is going to, I don't think, going to swamp over there. And, and realistically, I think you're going to get a, a group of people that are going to find it interesting. And, yeah. and it's to me, I think it's a draw to the farmer's market. And, and that's what I would say to, to them is it's, I think it's, it's an actual draw because you're bringing community in and people that maybe maybe they want to come down and, and, yeah. and see that maybe they don't shop at the farmer's market. So, you know, it's a kind of a catch 22. I think if you keep it around that six o'clock mark, hey, we're going to do a, you know, very quick demonstration. It's only like, you know, Chief said, you know, it's like, you know, 20 minutes, you know, and then it's back to back to shopping, yeah. you know, so the, you still have a little bit of time. It's not right at the end. And then there's a little bit of wrap up for, you know, for shopping. And then you're, you're, you call it a night. Any other, what do you think? No, I think we're good. Let's do it. 29th. Cops and counselors. Cops and counselors. That's, that's a, that, that's a good, that, that's good. I like that. Cops and counselors. How's that? Okay, so you're starting at 5.30 p.m. The, well, the, we're the, going to be there the, about four. Yeah, we're going to be there for the opening. Right. We're going to be there for the whole farmer's market. Right, 4 to 7 p.m. Correct. But, but you were talking about not only the body cam, but the etiquette. We're just going to stick to one. We're just going to do the body cam. Okay. I, yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll do that maybe perhaps another time. Okay, so body cam's at yep. 6 o'clock? Yep. So that would be the presentation that will steer it to six. Then the, the rest of the time would be, you know, it would be an intermingling, you know, chance for conversations, just like to meet the officials if somebody wants to, you know, pull a counselor and just talk or, uh, you know, and somebody wants to just, you know, talk yeah, to the off, officer. Off, offline. Yep. It's a, it's a conversation. It's a, it's a meet and greet. It's, it's a sign of unity and, and just you know, being part of the community and a chance for us, I think, too, to help promote the farmer's market as well. And, and you're kind of, in my opinion, I can do all that too. I mean, not that they don't know they have the, the, the town support, but yeah. you're doing it officially as the right. you know community relations right. from the council being, being is, is, the yeah, is gonna be there and, you know, which I think is good. So anything else on the 629? Nope, we're good. I will... Uh, then I will uh, um, have all the stuff ready for there. Um, Councilor Songs um, did say there was, um, um, we have a, the banner in a closet in the annex that says mayor and town council. So we can bring that. Um, I have the table, he said, and then he said, maybe some reading material, or do we want to have anything else there? What do we have, what do we have though? We got nothing. I just bringing it up. We got nothing. What do you need? Yeah, Council Song was just saying maybe some reading material, like maybe the charter. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, just wanted to bring it up. I just wanted to. Mm. So again, it's kind we of a very. Yeah, we ahead. could maybe put together a flyer that says, you know, when the council meets and it's for subcommittees, kind of like what we had on that other thing. You know, these are it's your councilors. Yeah, we'll do that. You know, has the councilors' names and. Right. You know, admin meets the first Wednesday. You know, land use meets the first Monday. You know, that just that kind of maybe stuff. a so, little slogan on the bottom. You know, please, you know, come and join us or come check it out or something. I mean, I mean, you know, that's actually really good point, Roxanne, because you know, reading the, you know, just kind of reading the 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 community, um, the community relations committee mission statement from the the last two years to engage in residents. You know, try to get like twenty or plus people, which we haven't done and so i mean to that part of the omission statement you know you're you're you want to let people know you know we're still here and we want your input you should come yes so we'll that's a great to, idea we'll phrase we'll work on it together we'll get something together gary perfect 
Anybody else have anything to add for the 629? I think we pretty much nailed down what we got. All right, and I'm, of course, just a phone call away too, so. Um, all right, so 629, um, this farmer's market starts at, uh, what do we say, four? four. And um, so I, I have a tent, I have the table, and uh, Roxanne and I will work on, on that flyer, and we'll be joined by the Ledger Police Department, and at 6 p.m. we'll have a uh, body cam demonstration. And it works. Very nice, loose based, kind of free flowing. Either about quarter of. And just promoting unity and, and togetherness at the you know the, the the best farmers market in the area. Absolutely, those guys do an incredible job. All right, so we got that one nailed down. Um, moving on, and, and these next three uh, items on the agenda are kind of kind of inter intertwined with one another. I'm going to read the next item though which is the continued discussion, I should say that uh, three, four, and six will, but um, continued discussion of possible action to identify various town venues to host informational conversations in the park to engage residents in discussions regarding their concerns and their ideas for potential solutions. So as we know, um, so there is some, um, and it's been brought up to, you know, in the land use, uh, there's some issues with um, the park over on uh, East Drive there in Gales Ferry. Um, with residents' concerns. And um, I thought it would be a great idea that that's where you start. You, we go out and we and we have maybe our next meeting and, and I was thinking maybe our next meeting in July, we could, instead of being here at the Town Hall Annex, maybe we could go and, and have our meeting um, at the park over there. I emailed uh, Sarah and Debbie, they're the first house to the left of the park, asking them for their input. And telling them that we're going to be canvassing the neighborhood, getting some input from the people that surround the park as to uh, possible solutions and potential problems. Um, I haven't heard back from them yet, but I'm sure I will. So, you know, I don't know what, you know, I mean, what would we, what do we have to do for that, Roxanne, if we want to? Um, well, when I talked to Mr. Hennig at FOI, you know, if it's a casual gathering, um, like at the park, um, as long as we advertise it and we don't make any actions, it's not really uh, a meeting. So what we could do is we could put together again <clears throat> something like a little flyer. I could get the names and addresses of the people that live in that area and we could actually uh, send them the flyer, you know, via U.S. ground mail um, and, you know, say we're going to be doing this and hope that you come and uh, engage in a conversation. So, so and it wouldn't be an agenda. It wouldn't be an agenda at all. Um, it would just be a casual gathering. So, we would cancel if we were to do it on our meeting so, night, we would cancel our right, regular we, meeting. That's correct. Yes. So, and it, it wouldn't be Zoomed, it wouldn't be, you know, there'd be no no notes, nothing. A bunch of regular people hanging out, discussing ideas. Well, I mean, if 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 we wanna do that, I mean, I think it's it's worth, I know that they have been in contact with the chief and, and there's been a lot of, you know, incidents going on there. And and it just, you know, and in my opinion, it just seems like it's it's, you know, I mean, it, it's it's not something that's is you, you know it's not going to go away per se but right. there has to be a conversation and, and there has to be you know um you know and, and i get it there's probably some frustration or whatever i mean i i don't know you know um you know i don't live across the street from a park or or anything like that i i think it might go on and everywhere you know and, and on the digital parks it just maybe it just that one though it's location and it's and 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 everything else but I think the best way to 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 start is to okay let's let's stop and let's why don't we all talk about it and maybe it'd be a good idea and I know I talked to to you chief but I think it'd be a great idea just to have the community just us there I don't right. think it it involves the ledger police department at this point I don't think it, it involves anybody else but the community relations committee just has 
as as what we're supposed to do to making sure that they feel they're being represented and right. and listening to them and um and these conversation this conversation even though we'll be hearing a lot about east park i mean it's it's about parks in general really mm -hmm. i mean this is a problem i'm sure that goes on this still they're hearing about right um right, gary you know, be advertised like we did the thing at the Nathan Lester house. It'd be similar to that. Okay. So, you know, we'd want to put, if we can get another public information thing in the Thames River Times, and that would be the extent of the, you know, the publication of it. We could put some flyers around, let residents know, um, but there'd be no formal agenda. So anybody thoughts or interject anything else in that? No, I think we're, I think we're we got a good plan. Um, and would you be all right with canceling the? Yes. Because we we would shelve anything else that's you know that we want to continue discussion on to August. Yeah, that's fine. So everybody would be all right with that. Yeah. Because the main part of this committee is to get out there in the public and and, and help them out with stuff like this. I have absolutely. So to get out there at the farmers market down the park. That's really what this is about. I agree with you. All right, um, and that's that's we don't like make a motion for anything like that. We can just cancel our meeting and then have our informational on the next meeting time. Right. It'll be noted in the uh, minutes too that um, by consensus, you, this is what you agreed to do. Okay. Okay, come to us. We'll come to you. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. All right, great. So that's what we're going to do. The consensus is that we're going to we're going to have our next meeting um, at East Park over in um, in Gales Ferry yep. um, at our normal meeting time. Six thirty. Six thirty. Uh, right. Yeah, people don't get up by then. Yeah. You know, I drove through there last uh, after our last meeting, and there's people out walking the dogs, pushing the kids around in carriages. They're out and about at yep. that time. So maybe so, we can bring some people in. Yeah. So. Um, and then, like I said, we can bring what our findings and our discussions back right? and, you know, and talk about it. Get some frontline input. Sure. Yep. And then we can go kind of go from there with it. And, and um, yeah, I think that would be great. So, all right. So that's uh, the consensus there. So we'll, um, we'll do that. Um, item number five, if anybody else for the, on the East part. Yeah, we're good. Good. All right. Um, Item number five on the agenda was uh, continued discussion regarding the possibility uh, to schedule joint meetings with the Mashantucket Pequot Tribal Nation to discuss items of mutual interest. Um, Councilor Psalms um, did say, um, he had emailed me um, that he had reached out <coughs> to uh, Crystal Whipple again, and they're still trying to come up um, with a date um, for an informational get together uh, with the tribe. Um, so he's still, uh, you know, working on that. It's hard, and he mentioned that in the last meeting. And we thought we had a, uh, 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 we thought we might have had a date, but we had other meetings, so it just didn't work. Um, yeah. So he is, he's still in communication with her. Um, he also invited her and other members um, to stop of the tribe to stop um, at our table on the 29th um, at the farmers market. Um, which was which was good. So they've been yeah, invited. Just, just to put a face to the name. Yep. So um, that's really all I have on that. Um, anybody else? No, just wait to wait to meet these people. All right. Um, so next item on the agenda is the continued discussion to present information to bring awareness uh, to October being Depression and Mental Health Month. Um, this. Again, this is in October. Um, we had discussed possibly doing another booth um, at the farmer's market maybe in, in August. I can't remember what the date was off the top of my head. Um, so it's a little ways away. So this kind of gets a little, which is nice, it kind of brings up a little prepping. So um, I know I've been, I've been kind of beating this the, the mental health thing a little bit, but I think mental health is very important um, and now more than ever in a community. Um, I really do. I really feel strongly about that. Um, I've seen some of the things that are, you know, have been happening, you know, with shootings and, and not just that, but, you know, I mean, 
you know, mental health, I think, affects more than, than people think. And, you know, it, even in the high schools, you know, there's, you know, bullying still exists. And it might not be the bullying that maybe, you know, maybe, you know we, we grew up with. Um, there's a lot of racially charged things going on right now. And it's, it's sad. You know, we saw what happened at the basketball game, you know, and, and it, it, it's amazing how people, you know, treat other people sometime. And I think a lot of that does stem um, from, from mental health and, um, and education. <clears throat> and I want to, as a community relations, I think that's, that should be some of our charge um, is to try to, talk about those things that sometimes people don't really want to talk about and um, let them know that that's what you need to do and not, not act yeah. out in, in, a, in, a, in another way. So that's really important to me. And, and um, I have personal stake in that. And so the idea behind the, the October thing, or maybe at, at the farmer's market on the 29th was maybe combining some resources by having um maybe a booth there that was not like a, not like what we're doing on the 29th, but, and again, this is just preliminary and just coming out of my head, but there's some other things that, that happen here at the end of the farmer's market as we headed into September and October, you have winter time that, that's, that's heading up. So that's heat season. We've seen the, the inflation numbers. I don't see fuel going down people. I would like to make aware, you know, that there are programs out there and that this town, you know, you there's you can apply for TVCCA, you can apply for assistance. We have our food pantry. I want to make an awareness, and and I was thinking, well, the farmers market's a great place to kind of, hey, we're an information booth almost, right? Like people do not know about those um, resources that are available, and when you're in your time of need you're just, you don't know where to reach out to. You're pulling at straws. So yeah, I think that's very forward. important. Yeah. And I think that, so it's a financial and, uh, you know, it, it's both, right? right? And, you know, the, the, I think uh, Council Sons mentioned, you know, the, the, and you talked about the, the, you know, the fund, you know, if somebody needs a septic or a roof, you know, yeah, the, the, homeowner's, the, assistance, the yeah. homeowner's assistance, you know, these are things that I think that we need to, you know, make sure that, you know, people are aware of and have information together. And, and so I guess the, the, what I would like to do is in the next couple of months is, is try to put that together. How would we want to present that? How could we use a, a table, say at the farmer's market to do that? Um, to make sure that we, people are, you know, Hey, did you know that ledger, you know, has that home assistance? Did you know that you can, you know, we, there's resources here available that you can go and, and see the mayor's assistant and apply for TVCCA for, you know, heating oil or propane assistance, um, you know, and not only that, but, you know, counseling and things like that. I mean, we forget too that, and that's why October is also depression and, and mental health awareness because, you know, the, the days are getting shorter. Right. Your dark clocks are going to go back. And you go to bed and you get, dark, dark and you get home. And again, we're living in a, in a climate where people, you know, and when people, you know, that even they don't suffer, maybe they don't suffer mental illness per se, but you know, when you're, you know, uh, against the wall with heat bills and rent or mortgage and food prices that are going out there and, you know, it can change. People become desperate. And, and, you know, I want this to be a community that cares and, and understands that. Um, I want people to understand with you know, regards to the police department to know, you know, we have officers here, you know, Chief Rich has, has talked about that. They, they have, you know, critically, you know, critical intervention officers and um, just making this kind of information available. Right, because a lot of people in town may not know about what's offered at, even by the social services, like the counseling, yes. the licensed professional help. That needs to get out. Yes. That needs to be communicated. So I think the booth at the farmer's market in August is a great idea. We just have to really work on getting this presented well. So I'm open to all ideas. I wanted to just kind of get all that out. And um, I know sometimes I ramble when I don't actually write. That's why I like to write my, <laughs> my, my stuff down. Yeah, I'm, I'm a musician. You know, it's, it's the same thing in the band. I just kind of throw it all out there. And then the you song want, finally comes together. Soul, then yeah. the song comes together, you know. And it's like, Gary, just write the lyrics down. Let's go, you know. Um, but um, 
but it's kind of like that, right? You know, and 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 I just, you know, I I feel really important with that, and um, I don't want, you know, my focus is I don't want to leave anybody behind, you know, and I would really like to go into this year, you know, with that kind of a thing that says, hey, wow, you know, we, you know, I didn't realize Ledger offered this, and wow, you know, we do live in a town that really cares, and I think the majority of the people know that, but um, what about inviting someone from the suicide prevention uh, group? That that again, I think that's. Band? Um, Daigle from Niantic, the Brian Daigle Foundation. Yeah, I can contact her. I yeah, you know, that that's a before. could be a great idea. When I hear mental health, I think of what I've gone through in my own family. Yeah, and and friends and family that I've known that have taken their own lives, and there is no indication whatsoever. That's right. But looking back now that I know a little bit more, because in the past these things weren't talked about. It's just coming to to life right. now. People. Are, are just getting comfortable enough to talk about it and deal with it on a public level. It, there uh, well, there's been, we there's been a up, stigma of that. When we yeah. were growing up, it was, it was hush, hush, hush. Oh, absolutely. But now that I look back and the signs are there with my cousin and my friends and some other people I've known. You know, and I think, you know, I mean, the chief could probably speak to this, but I think there's a, you know, I've read places where there's correlation of that with, with crime and, you know, and things like that. I mean, it's mental health, I think is, is a, an integral part of, of, of any community. Um, and to know that there's, you know, there's another outlet, yeah. you know, and uh, especially, especially with the, the youth and the, and the kids. Um, so I just, I would really like to be proactive on that and, um, and, and do that for maybe the, the end of the, the August one. Okay. Let me talk to Anne and I'll get back to you. And then, um, We'll take it from there. I have an idea in my head. So mm -hmm. let me um, touch base with Anne. She's really good at doing this. She's been doing it for a long time in East Lyme, Niantic. And um, she's the go-to person. So she'll make so, and, it. And any other ideas? I just, well. Like I said, I just really want to get the ball rolling on that. Remember that we were not going to have a July meeting. Um, so we would have to really get this going so that might well, be still talk, you know. Yes, but I mean, then by the August, I like to have, okay, we're, we're ready we're to just go. Yeah, so. yep. yep. So okay, so I have permission to work on this. Sure. Okay. We can start putting that together. Um, you know, like I said, it's going to be harder, I think, too, as we get into the to the late fall. You know, to to do a lot more community stuff. I mean, you know, my it's colder outside. It's colder outside. It's darker. People are getting busy. The holidays are going to come. I mean, you know, I'm I'm delivering oil. You know, so. Uh, right, and the winter market is way too small a venue to have anything right. there. Right. So I think that would be a great, great way to kind of do that. And my vision was kind of like that table where it's almost like, you know, you have, a, you know, you have four, maybe four chairs, right? This is your social services. This is your, you know, you know, yeah. TVCCA and heating systems. And this is your, you know, you know, or, you know, those programs. And, and we can kind of like finalize that. And, you know, you have, you know, three or four people there, um, I, you know, that would, you know, and maybe have a little, little something on the paid family medical leave because the guy I work with yeah. didn't even know about that. Now he's putting off surgery because he can't miss that much work. Yeah. Said, yeah, but if you apply for his paid family medical leave, you get like 8% of your pay. He goes, right. What's that? So he looked it up and he immediately texted his wife because she's out right now for because she has some surgery done. He didn't even know about it. Oh, really? So I feel like he put some things off because they can't miss right. work. But if there's funds out there available to them other than unemployment, which they may not have, then they might they might go ahead, might go forward with, with something. I agree, and I just think getting the getting the information out there is is key, and and um, and again that that kind of you know just kind of ties back into um, into the you know the mission statement um, is just being a resource and trying to bring community together. Um, and again, that's kind of so if you're, if you're, you know, if everyone's going to kind of think about that mission statement, you know, that we're going to, I guess I'll bring up in, in August, since we're, we'll be at the park on, on, in July, you know, that's kind of where my, my head is, is, is going with that is to, to be that, you know, we're, we're more than just, you know, more than your government. And um, help you. so that's, that's my take on that. If anybody else has uh, anything else on that. I have something under new business. But. Okay. So if we're good with that, Chief, do you have anything that you want to 
interject there or I, I would just put out that um you know it, the united way of southeastern connecticut our offices right there at route 12 and 214 they're a great resource that we we partner with on a, a couple different initiatives and and also uh, that you know after hours you know every we have everything programmed in in dispatch as far as the resources to be able to reach out and so if somebody runs out of oil at 11 30 at night you know there's there's, there's going to be limited resources and we actually have the um the uh, the, the numbers and the contacts all programmed into dispatch so oh, really? so that's um yeah yeah so, yeah no kidding i wouldn't know that <laughs> well you know and as, as a, you know as a last resort i mean we're not we're not I'm um, trying to be two one one, but but in right. addition, you know, we're nine one one, and we and we can also help because um, we have uh, we just have we just have the kind of a re the resource directory already um, in, in our in our house. So um, that that's and and it does happen, you know, uh, once or twice a year where we where we are utilized uh, in in making contact for people. So that's that's really good to know. Don't go anywhere, Chief. I'm I need you in a minute. All right. So, anything else on on the um, on the putting together for the October or the August thing, bringing into the all that? It's such a huge, broad subject. If we pick one area at a time, I think we'll think we'll do all right. You want to overload the overload the table with information? Be too much. Someone to pay attention. But if you focus on one thing or keep it small enough, I think it'd be, it'd be a good idea. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're working that and all right. Um, moving on to item number seven, any old, any other old business proper to come before the committee? No. All right, hearing none. Um, any new business? So I was at a meeting that the Ledger Police Department and some parents put on for autism and it was great. I learned so much information there that I didn't know before. Um, one of the questions that the parents had was that she's concerned that her child who has autism, he's functioning autistic, he may be pulled over and he wouldn't know how to react. And, um, or, you know, the people who have, anxiety. They may take off without because they, they're not sure what to do. In a situation like that, they would react differently. So that's when uh, she had that, this parent had that idea about a mock pullover. And she also mentioned the blue cards, which I didn't know about, and the green cards, which I didn't know about. Since then, I've spoken to Chief Rich, and he said that was a great idea to have a mock pullover. So what I would like is to have permission from the Community Relations Committee for all of us to work in conjunction to have this mock pullover with a date to be determined. And this would be in conjunction with the Ledger Police Department, uh, Ledger Public Schools, because we would need to use the Ledger High School parking lot. It's the biggest one around here. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, Town Council's Community Relations Committee and the mothers of the um, autistic uh, group. So I've already contacted the mothers. They are on board with this. So they think it's a great idea. One mother did have one comment. Her, she said some of the functioning autistic children don't want to be um, Recognized. called out that, of being autistic. So her idea, and Chief Rich, um, I'm going to need your input on this one. Her idea is um, if we can say it's for... Um, anybody who wants to do a mock pullover, like it's for everyone, not just autistic students or people. I'm not sure how to go about doing that, Chief Rich. Um, and I know you're going to get information from a police department that already does this in another town. That's right. So um, Southern Connecticut State University has uh, an autism center there and their police department has um, put on two two separate exercises similar to what you're talking about, and it is it is directly geared toward um, toward autism. But just like we uh, John brought up um, in the uh, in the prior discussion about you know how do you how do you behave at a traffic stop or what, you know what what do you do or what should you do what should you not do um, you know we we could we, we can just have also have a, you know a um, a, 
an informational like that, and 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 then if, if it is a situation where somebody has special needs, um, you know, highlighting the the blue envelope or the green envelope for the hearing impaired, all, all of those things, and then just doing doing a practice. So we you, and just like anything else, you know, re rehearsal uh, <laughs> reduces anxiety, right? Practice makes perfect. So um, I, I I think you know we could utilize the, we could utilize the experience of of the Southern Connecticut State University's Autism Center and their police department, who has already hosted two of these events, and um, in recent months, and I think we could just oh we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We can just go, um, learn from their experience and go off um, go off what they've done and use their uh, lesson plan, if you will. Um, um, and I, I think that would be um, and and uh, the, the the heavy lifting has already been done, um, and I think we'll be able to uh, benefit from that. So if you give me permission, I'd like to work on that. Yeah. With in yeah, conjunction see, with all the all the yeah, groups I mean, that I named. You have ours. I mean, so I have my support there, personally and the work. Um, it depends the on the information that Chief Rich gets. So then, what were you thinking? Like 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 probably doing something like a, like a Saturday morning or something like that and having a it all depends on the information that Chief Rich gets. You know, I don't know what days they did it and what how, how much of a turnout they had. Um like I, it, it all depends on the information he gets. Like he, Chief Rich has said, you don't want to reinvent the wheel. Right. Whatever worked for them is what for, we should do here. University. Sure. Right. I think that's great. Uh, Southern Connecticut State University yeah. Autism Center. Yeah, I think that's great. Chief, you still there? Quick question. Is there, is there anything available to, to families with autistic children or drivers that are highly functioning to put on the car? that tells the officer uh, to kill the license siren, because sometimes the license siren will set them off too. Yes, yes. So so basically the, the blue envelope is the, you know, is this the state program um, as it relates to uh, autism. And so it's a partnership between the Connecticut Police Chiefs Association and the Department of Motor Vehicles. And so the the, the uh, envelope is where you put your your license registration and your insurance card uh, if you have if you have a driver uh, who's who's on the spectrum or has those kind of special needs, and then they're they're taught just to you know if when they stop, just give give that envelope to the police officer, and that dials the police officer in on the fact that oh, okay, I'm dealing with somebody here with special needs, so some some of their behavior may be, um, you know, um, maybe not what I'm used to, uh, or their communication style might be not what well, I'm not what I'm used to at a routine traffic stop, and uh, we've had I know a lot a lot of that came up at the meeting that Naomi referred to. And um, you know, we we also we also have the special needs profile that we have had out for years, and we use it for various cognitive issues. And it's you know, it's basically just kind of a a, a boilerplate form that people fill out, and then they include a, a picture of their loved one uh, that they're that they're concerned about. And again, it could be like I said, we've used it for Alzheimer's disease, we used it for traumatic brain injury, people who have um, issues that they they want the police to know about as it relates to potential behavioral health issues in advance. So what we do is we just uh, attach the profile. We make a profile in the in, the, in our system at, about the person, and then uh, attach it to the residence. So if there's a call at the residence, we know we're going there, and there's somebody there with a special needs profile. And then the specific information in the profile will tell us other information to include, you know, if it, if it if it's somebody um, who's got memory memory issues that has has wandered before and is currently missing, we'll have a picture of them. We'll have access to whatever uh, information on whatever vehicles that they have access to, their medications, their primary caregiver, their physician, um, gives, gives us a leg up, um, it, it, especially if it's like a, a missing person or something like that, where um, you, you wanna have that information in a timely manner and, and, and instead of asking the family to, you know, hey, can you find me a picture of, uh, of your loved one? We, we already have it in our system. Um, it's already programmed in. So the officer can pull it up right in the car and they can, they can have the information about the person's a disability on on their way to the call, you know, before they even get there. So they're already queued that, in. So that yeah. has worked. Some of the parents have said that that has worked because they filled out that form. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the things we talked about at that meeting last Friday. Is that they would like to have another meeting um, and have more families attend. So that was one of the other things to discuss. Um, but that's a work in progress. Right. And, um, and again, and I, and I know I talked to her as well. I did offer just. So you know that if the, you know already that if they you know would like the community relations committee for if they need anything that I I did I said please reach out you know okay. we will you know 
Well, I was thinking there was something on the, because I when I was with the Gales Ferry Fire Department, we'd come up on the 911 system, no lights and siren, because there's a sun on the spectrum that we're dealing with. We don't want to set them off, so come in silent. Uh, they'll have something on the outside of the car to tell us out there ahead of time that this person's on the spectrum. You'll need to sit there with your lights flash because the flash and lights will trigger a response. Right, and when I was speaking yeah. to Chief Rich about this, about the mock trial, um, Chief um, John Mann was there. So um, I think we've got a good group willing to work on this. So um, with Black History Month, I got approval from the community relations to work on that. So do I need that approval for this also? Um, I think you just got it. No, I, I mean. No motion, right? No, we're good. Okay. No, nope, we're, we're, we're pretty informal here. <laughs> yeah, we, you got our support. And, okay, thank you. Any help that you need. Um, we were talking earlier before you got here about instead of the Black History Point White, you know it's the one month. I want to have events during the year building right. up to the month. Right, the mayor and I were talking about that, but we're waiting until we get funds from a grant. Right. So um, the grant, it was only two weeks away, and it, I when was it? April. Yes. And um, so we were all excited about this grant, and we were talking about things we could do throughout the year, and then bill sent me the requirements of what you have to do and it's involved yes so, so we thought okay next year <laughs> but right. yes the mayor and i were uh, we're on the same page so there's no other new business uh proper to come before the committee um, um i make a motion to adjourn i will second that motion um all in favor aye aye motion carries chief i very much appreciate you taking your time again um in giving us your input tonight um thank you and um so june 29th it is and um four to four see you then we'll, we'll touch base in advance and we'll, we'll we'll finalize plans but i'm we're, we're ready to go so thank you no, good. appreciate the input all right thank all you right. chief see you john and, see uh, you guys thank you i need a motion to adjourn we did you did yes thank you he seconded. I didn't even hear it. <laughs>